Hi, I'm Bormai, and this is nine in-game solo tips. Now, these tips are specifically for solos and at the end of the game. Now, I did pull this uh, from my Twitch. If you ever want to come watch me, feel free. It's Bormai1981 on Twitch. There's going to be a link in the description. Also in the description is going to be timestamps to each individual tip. In case you don't want to watch a certain one, or you're just looking for a particular tip. Fun. Low outs, low tip outs. number one. Be prepared as soon as possible. And I realize everyone's like, well, duh, you know, you always want to be prepared. But I'm not kidding you. I don't know how often I have spectated somebody and seen they have $20,000, no gas mask, no score streak, nothing, UAV. They are not prepared. And I don't know if it's because they didn't pass a buy station or whatever, but obviously use everything you can at your disposal to have any situation covered yes use buy stations i don't mean die to get a gas mask from an aid station it's the last gas mask and obviously it's surrounded by buildings and people are camping waiting to kill you i mean buy stuff don't don't die with money so somebody else can just take that money and spend it on a gas mask tip number two use the final loadout drop to determine how many hostile people are in somewhat close proximity to you. Now, if four additional loadouts drop beside your own, that does not mean you've got four people on top of you or in your building. It just means that that predetermined area where the loadout's going to drop, four other people are sharing it. They are at least, I'm going to say, within 200 meters of you. Now, if this is Circle 5, when that loadout drops, it still could be relatively big, so just be mindful of this so you're not just freely running out to get shot by the guy who's camping in the building next to you. Tip number three, get your camping merit badge. I hate camping. If you ever watched any of my other videos, any of my other gameplay, you know my play style is the rush. I just love to push players and get them right next to me so I can easily kill them without a whole lot of thought. However, in-game solos, hell, in-game anything, Camping is definitely okay. People are going to camp because it doesn't make sense to just run out in the middle of the open and get picked off and just be somebody's, you know, lunch. You don't want to do that. You do want to camp. And while you're camping, use this opportunity to find other people, whether you see them moving in a building or they're rotating in and you can kill them. Just watch for other hostile players. If you need to, you can pinpoint their location. So this isn't really a tip. I just wanted to share it. It's more of my thought process here. As you can see, I'm rotating in. Part of airport is still inside here, and people can be rotating from top of airport or even inside of airport to safe zone. I want to make sure if anyone is in or on top of airport, they push out and get in front of me because I do not want anyone jumping off the roof behind me specifically I do have a gas mask, so I have the luxury of slow pushing this. I just, I don't want to get into a position where now I've got a guy who's behind me, I've got a guy in front of me, I'm stuck in the middle, and I have to play who's the biggest threat. And by that I mean try to determine who's going to be able to kill me sooner, which guy I need to kill first. I don't want to play that game, so I just slow push it as I had the luxury here. Tip number four. Again, it's going to sound... Like, everyone should know it. Tip number four is to use cover. As you can see here, I'm going to use this wall to protect my back and my side. Now, I use this wall this whole time. However, if I was going to be rotating, I would move from cover to cover. That is what you need to do. You need to have in mind where you're going to go when someone starts shooting you. Okay, but here, I'm going to use the cover. I'm going to use all these openings to check for people rotating in behind me. I just want to make sure there's no one coming in that's been gas pushing, okay? Use the cover to your advantage always. Tip number five, ping shots that you see on the mini map. Open up your big map, toss a ping on that, just a marker. That way you can locate people that aren't necessarily a threat right now, but you're gonna possibly get tunnel vision on somebody later. You wanna keep in mind where someone is, so a little bit later on, you know, hey, I need to be paying attention to this direction. Maybe you're moving, maybe you're rotating, maybe you're 
you're just camping somewhere and you need to pay attention to that specific location. Use the pings. That's what it's there for. This could really, no kidding, be the difference between you winning a game and losing a game. Tip number six, don't get too anxious to kill a player as soon as you see him. In fact, sometimes it may not necessarily mean because somebody pops out of their cover that you need to kill them. Remember, the second you start fighting, especially the, the higher the circle is, or your circle six or seven, the smaller that circle is, Take a big step as soon as you start shooting, you're giving away your position. Your so if you're going to shoot, number one, make sure that you are going to down and kill somebody. You're not just firing at them and breaking some shield. You want to get that kill. Number two, Take a big step back. you don't need to be so anxious because while you're firing face. at somebody, you might be giving a sniper the opportunity to take that headshot. <clears throat> Tip number seven, pay attention to the amount of players left. It's real easy in the end game to go from six people left to a 1v1 situation. Now, if you remember tip five, ping players on the map. This is actually my ping from number tip number five, and it came in handy this time. I start looking at that location, I see movement, I get a live ping, the guy starts rotating down. Now, I start crosshair centering where the guy is possibly going to move. He does end up seeing me, so I start to fire. Now, my, my reasoning for fire isn't necessarily to kill him. Yes, if I kill him, great, game over, I win. My reasoning for fire is I really wanted to keep him feeling like he needed to get cover because I was in the open and I didn't want him to be able to kill me before I got covered. Tip number eight, pressure. In solo end games and any end game, especially when it's 1v1, you want to keep constant pressure on that final person. Now, in the situation I'm in here, he actually has the better positioning on me. So my play is I want to take as many plates as I can from him, and I want to get in his head that if he comes out of this safe spot, he's going to die. I want that to work in my advantage, so he's afraid to move to get even better positioning on me. Tip number nine, cause chaos. This time I did it by throwing a thermite, which I actually thought that I missed my throw. Um, but I wanted to force a mistake from this guy, I, and, and I wanted to, to make him think he had to rotate a certain direction. So the thermite actually did hit, and it did exactly what I wanted it to do. He forced himself out to my right, out of cover, before I had to push, and I finished it up lickety-split. Hey guys, so you might have noticed some uh, some different things in this video. It is because I took it directly from my, my live Twitch stream. Things like take a step back and literally fuck your own face. And then the We Are The Champion song after I won the game. That's all stuff I throw into my Twitch stream just to make it a little more fun and exciting for, for people watching. On top of being engaged in chat. Link in the description if you ever want to watch me stream on Twitch. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Usually by 8, 8.30 Eastern Time, uh, sometimes sooner, and up until I go to bed, to be honest with you. I appreciate you guys watching this, this video, nine in-game solo tips. Definitely use these tips. I hope they serve you well, and I hope you kill everyone with them except me. Till next time, I'm Bormai, signing out, wishing you happy gaming.